Yep, you guys know check, the check. game. We know yeah. the drill. There we go. Yes. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Check, check, check. Kara, are you ready? Yep. And action! So look at this. This would be our third meeting now, guys? Third, third meeting. Daniel and Sean from Northwest REI. And uh, let's update you guys. Uh, first of all, tell us your most recent grades. How are you doing in the grades? Uh, grades, we've been going up. Going up, I think. Uh, but you were in the '90s last time we uh, talked, right? Yeah. Well, so you're still you're we're in the higher '90s. <laughs> in the higher 90s. Yeah, yeah. No. So that means you actually study. Study. Study yeah. is good. So tell everybody uh, on camera and uh, kufo.com here. What is it you're studying to do? Uh, for those who are just technicians. tuning in, for those just tuning in, what are you guys to? What's your official title going to be? Uh, what, it would be entry a, level. Entry level wind, wind turbine tech, tech one. Tech one. Yeah, tech, tech one. Tech ones. Yep. All right, so techies. Do I call you tech oneies? What, sure. uh, what, 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 where are you at now? Tell us just real quick uh, where you've come from as far as the program and where you're at today. So you started out with what? Uh, intro, to, intro to wind. Intro to wind, and then we went... Uh, a lot of hot wind in class those mm -hmm. days, okay. Yep, yep. That's just the basic uh, learning it all from the beginning. All right. Then we hit mechanical. We hit mechanical, and then that's getting it twist up the gears and motors and uh, all that good stuff. And then uh, now we are in electrical. What's been the funnest, the most interesting for each one of you guys individually uh, so far? For me, uh, when you got into electrical, a lot of math, a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, diagnosing and troubleshooting. And you're I thinking, like, okay, now we're getting to the nitty-gritty. Now the we're getting into the nitty-gritty. Yeah, same for you? Yeah, same for me. So where do you go from here now? You're in electrical. How long is that going to last? How long is this uh, electrical program? 30 days. 30 days. So each month you take on a different subject? Yes, and moves a little closer and closer. When do you officially, have you already officially climbed one of these things? Nope. Nope. That happened. Well, they don't trust you till you know the, until <laughs> you know what? <laughs> uh, no, it's not that. It's the attorneys. That, <laughs> yeah. That's the what I'm saying. The company. attorneys don't trust you. They, yeah. the insurance companies don't want to pay it out. Yeah. So well, at what point, though? Is that going to be part of like your big graduation Actually, we got, uh, we got told today that they're going to move that to the sixth month. Oh, okay. So by the time you go all the way through the school, you're going to get competent climbing training. Because that's a big part for of your it. resume. Yes, yes. It's know how to climb huge. these things. Mm -hmm. How how high are these things? Seventy four feet. No, is that's it? that's the one we're going to climb. No, oh. the but turbines I mean, themselves are three hundred feet. Yeah. Wow. Three hundred feet, and they're only getting bigger. The offshore ones are four hundred. Foot four. There's more and more news stories these days about these. What do they call them? Wind farms. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yep. they're they're becoming a. It's going to be a huge thing in the future. Huge thing. And uh, so you're at this level of the game, at this level of the industry, of your schooling, you guys are getting in at the right time at Northwest REI. Oh, the, yeah, right now, all the way up until 2030. I mean, there's, it's going to just keep on growing and getting bigger. So if you can get in now, get in now, because, I mean, you're entry level and you're going to get in and start filling these holes and basically have your spot at wherever and you want. And in 10 or 15 go. years, when, there's, when they're further and further developed, you guys will have already had your foot in the... Yep. Well, then we're going to be sitting back running a farm or doing yeah, whatever yeah. we want to do. Or be instructors at Northwest REI. <laughs> you, you never know. know you right? never know. Yep. What kind of pay are people looking at from an entry-level position? When you get out and they place you in a job or they, they assist place you, they're, they're, Northwest REI is not going to go out and say, okay, here's your job. They're going to yep. assist you with, with future employers. What kind of money are you going to be making? Do yeah, think? the REI, it's a 50-50. It's you know, you, they... They give you all the tools, and you gotta you gotta be able to take the tools and use it. Mm -hmm. But uh, d depending on where which state you're in, I think they run anywhere from about I've heard from sixteen to twenty five dollars an hour starting pay. That's pretty good for uh, just depending damage. on. I think over in Hawaii they pay a little bit more because the cost of living is a little bit higher. Right. And then down in Texas and stuff where the cost of living is a little lower, you're starting out about seventeen eighteen bucks an hour. And do you know the stats on this, uh, what kind of numbers they're hiring at? I mean, it's, it, this is an industry that is not laying off. This is an industry that is open doors. We need you. Yes. So there, there's plenty of work. Northwest REI is the place these guys have chosen. And uh, how far, uh, so, so far, how has been your experience in the classroom with the instructors, with the, with the class that you've started with? How has that been? I think it's top notch, actually. It is. Very I mean, you feel like you feel confident that you're actually getting a really good education. Oh yeah, and they don't they don't leave anybody behind. I mean, if you don't get it between the the other students and the tutors and anything you need, they they've got it and they really take care of you. Uh, how many uh, guys in your classroom? Fourteen. Any girls in there? No. No ladies. Uh, the the class right behind us has has one. Oh, do they? Yep. Yeah. And, then and the I, class that just came in. Just yeah, just one. came in. Yep. 
So this is something that everybody should know that uh, this is it's a six month program, mm -hmm. and uh, then beyond that, if you want to make even more advanced training, there's probably another level past that. But this at least gets you in the door and gets you. This, they're just all you got to do is get your foot in the door, and then after that, it's all up to you. Yep. So when you guys uh, graduate, when, when's your when's your graduation? Do you know? Do you have the date yet? December eighth. December eighth. Yep. So at that point, you're going to go up on a tower. No, we'll be going in uh, next month. We'll be going up on the tower. 75 feet up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And can we take this camera up there? Oh, yeah. And I bring it, bring it in. Let's let's put it on the website so yep. people can see what it's like. And, again, you guys are going 75 feet, but mm -hmm. these things will go up to 300 feet. 300 feet. And uh, I'm just still interested in what it is that you're – what do you do to, to a wind turbine? You service it. Uh, what exactly is in there that you have to is – it, is it computers or computer boards? What is it? It's a little bit of everything. You've got gears, motors, high-speed shafts, gearboxes. Uh, generators, PLCs, uh, hydraulic oil, I, they, it's everything. It's kind of all in one deal. To, it's just, they basically call them a robot. Yeah, basically. Uh, it, it basically thinks on its own. It'll send you stuff when it's, you know, it's going down or whatnot, and it's, they're amazing. So those things will just, they'll turn when the wind blows. And <laughs> but how, much, how much wind does it take to turn one of those? Because those are beasts. I believe I, I've, it's 17 miles an hour. Yeah, what it it's takes minimum, to cut in speed, yeah. uh -huh. and then maximum is fifty-five, and then after that they'll shut down it's to protect themselves. Yep. Yes, <laughs> wow, that's I'm, what we need. <laughs> or you can look online, and you'll see a couple of crash to the ground because they started running away and going way too fast. Because they start going, and they they want to fly off like a boomerang, mm -hmm. like <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like a, <laughs> like a propeller. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so uh, I just want one one antidote story from class. That, one thing you guys, you know, accidentally shocked yourself on a circuit. What happened? Give me one thing that's happened so far that you look back and you're going to have one story from class that you think, ah, what an idiot I was that day. I don't Would know if us? we've got us. <laughs> Not <laughs> us, of course. I mean, we, we got, got the good grades. We got, we, <laughs> we got Chris over there. He's got a BB uh -oh. stuck in his eyebrow, but that's about it. <laughs> How did you do that? I didn't say that, Chris. When he, when he was in the sixth grade, he said he oh, was in a oh, BB yeah. fight, and it's still in there. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> and it's, but nothing, it's, nothing from Northwest REI, though. No. no. Do you have safety goggles? you got to wear gear and all that Hard stuff? Hard hat, gloves, safety goggles. Yeah. Oh, my Every yards. day in class. In class. When you're on trainers. So you're sitting Steel-toed boots, everything. got to wear it all. Just like you go to classroom? Every day. Day, yep. Every day, part of your uniform. Yep. Just to get you... Just to get you, yeah, into working. So right when we get done from here, we go right in and represent the school good and get a job. Northwest REI, where is the school located? Uh, it's 200 um, Southeast Grand Boulevard there in Vancouver. Vancouver. In the Coove, Northwest REI. We're going to talk to these guys again next month and find out as they get closer and closer to graduation. Best of luck to you guys, and we'll see you on the towers. What are they Thanks, called? Are they called towers? Yep, they are towers. And see, I'm learning something out yep. of all this. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Sitch.